Hello everyone, Hi Flyers Tag Team back here with a new video again today. On today's video we'll be talking about some new information and stuff that just came out from Entertainment Weekly. Um, <clears throat> I might not sound as energetic in this video right now, it's pretty late at night, I'm tired. But, thanks to Gamora bringing it up, the news just dropped that Entertainment Weekly will be having a, uh, uh, their, you know, normal 2021 big movie build-up premiere kind of magazine coming up soon. And I had to check for myself on there, and yes, Entertainment Weekly themselves have confirmed they will be giving us a preview of Godzilla vs. Kong. Now before we get on that, you guys might not know who Entertainment Weekly is, or their history. Um, I don't remember now if they actually had involvement with Godzilla 2014, because I actually looked it up, and Empire was the one that revealed stuff for 2014. So I was like, ooh, maybe not. So I, I put that on my community tab, I might need to fix that. Um, I don't remember Kong Skull Island, but do you guys remember these images? Yeah, these images, um, dropped from Entertainment Weekly, and the trailer came out two weeks after. Um, so, <clears throat> if everything's lining up, Entertainment Weekly is known for doing stuff like revealing big images and new information and stuff for movies. Um, they are a pretty big source. They are a huge magazine. A lot of people reads it. Would be a great way to start building up pipe for the movie um we know nothing about the article or what's going on with that um on the website it is still saying that it will be on hbo max and theaters that could mean that uh warner brothers and legendary did come to the agreement we just don't know yet i don't know um but yeah this is all interesting nonetheless uh when i was um <clears throat> There's also a Total Films magazine coming out this Friday um, that is also, uh, nothing's confirmed GVK, but it also, I believe, has a 2021 lineup in it. Um, I don't expect anything from it. It's, I, there's nothing confirming it'll have GVK. Don't hold your breath. Just thought I'd mention that that's coming Friday, too. So should we expect anything from Entertainment Weekly of importance? Um, does this mean trailer's coming? Well, I did make a big theory on my community tab the other day uh, that I did strongly believe that the trailer was, in fact, coming. Um, February was my guess, um, and I'm definitely sticking by that more now with this bit of evidence. Um, it seems more and more likely we might actually get something for the Super Bowl this year. Um, I don't know what t when this magazine's coming out. I'm trying to figure that out, but... If it's anything like the King of the Monsters one, the trailer came out two weeks after for King of the Monsters. So if that's the same thing here, then yeah, it's the same case. Um, so yeah, I'm currently waiting. I have no idea what's going to be inside this magazine. Nothing's confirmed. They give a little brief stuff about the movie on the website. Nothing of too much importance, though. You can go on and check for yourself. Um, they're also going to be revealing Venom 2 stuff, which I'm excited for. Uh... Should we get hype? Should we expect anything? Well, with all the recent news, uh, figures going to be coming out um, late February, and actually a bunch of websites having them marked as pre-order for February fifth releasing. Plus, all the Bandai's and all sort books and stuff are getting ready to start coming out soon. Um, and there's no sign of delay at the moment. They keep constantly saying something new about the date being the same. It's very likely the film is currently, no matter what, probably staying in May. It seems very unlikely it's not. Um, again, what can I expect from this magazine? Should we expect anything? Again, I mean, they straight up confirmed they are going to give a preview of Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, I don't know if it will if it will show any pictures. Entertainment Weekly usually, as far as I know, unless they do like a little snippet, shows something for every movie. I, I, as far as I know, like, I'm pretty sure they at least show some screenshot. Could they show the same ones they've already shown? Hopefully not. Um, you know, something that we've already seen. Hopefully they show something new. Like, if they do show anything, it'll be like Godzilla and Kong standing off on the aircraft carrier. Or Hong Kong or something of the sort. You know, like, give us something new if you're going to give us anything. Um, or at least talk about the movie in really high depth. And, like, give us something to work with. Um, I am a little nervous that it's there's a chance it could end up just being stuff we've seen a thousand times, 
But they're supposedly giving us an exclusive first look. Like an exclusive preview. <coughs> My bad. Um, so, like, I would hope if something's so exclusive and so important that, well, we get something exclusive and something important. Again, I wouldn't completely hold my breath yet. I'm going to try to be reasonable about it this time, but yeah, it's sounding more and more likely we're going to get a trailer in February. Um, I think this is big evidence. Uh, I guess we just have to wait and see what happens. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what date this comes out. I really have no clue. I, they don't even have the cover posted, I don't believe. It's kind of just a waiting game now. But this could finally be our first glimpse at the movie that isn't two seconds of footage or like a screen still from the Playmates images box or the same banner. So they just dropped another one of that. Um, no, we might actually finally, and thank God, finally be getting something. What's your guys' thoughts, though? Do you guys think anything? Do you think they'll show anything? Again, you can look up on Entertainment Weekly's history for yourself. Um... They're confirming that GVK is going to be in the magazine, but nothing's confirmed on to what extent or how much because there are a lot of other movies on there too, and I don't know how big those magazines are. So, I mean, it is towards the top of the list though, um, if I remember. So, we'll find out. There again, I can't tell you guys it is coming, but you can read it for yourself, you can look into everything, make your own conclusions, that's the best I can give you guys right now, until we get more information on this magazine, but, until then, hope you guys all enjoyed, stay safe, um, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and as always, peace out, and bye bye You know, I was about to let you guys go, but I hope you're still here, because I just got more information, so, basically, what they're gonna be doing, according to the website, is over the next two weeks, daily, they'll be revealing, uh, stuff for more than two dozen films a day, so out of the 89 films on the list, daily they'll be revealing more than uh, 2,000 stuff for the next two weeks. So that mean I mean that would mean in four days they would have revealed everything for their entire slate, and so that means there will be probably multiple days with GVK stuff. As shocking as that sounds, um, depending on how they do it, and they said some of the stuff they'll be revealing is. Uh, interviews with the filmmakers and like the cast photos from the film and trailers from the film apparently they'll be dropping some of the first trailers for stuff it sounds like again try to keep your hype bare minimum I'm gonna try my best too but it's it's starting to seem a little bit if they're actually gonna be dropping trailers and to talk about two dozen movies a day I have no idea where to even look to, like, figure out where the stuff's dropping. But I'm sure when something drops, someone like Gamora or something's going to post it. Hope you guys all had a good night. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. So always peace out and bye-bye.